Hey everybody, um, my name's Emily. Some of you know me from uh, Midwest Magic Cleaning, uh, his channel, I'm his wife, uh, started my own channel to, um, at the request and idea of a, a few people, um, quite a few people <laughs> that showed up on lives and wanted to uh, hang out and craft and cook and do things that um, I like to do. So I just decided I'd start a channel on uh, my end and do those things. Um, so this is kind of an introductory video to uh, anybody who is here not from Mac's channel or um, there's a few things that I just kind of want to go over as far as like what the channel is going to entail, uh, what I'm working on now, um, and I'll give you a, a tour of my art room, the craft room, which uh, you guys probably have all seen from a decluttering um, and it, it could probably use it a little bit now. but. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> so, um, one of the things that I wanted to say off the bat is this is not like affiliated with Mac's channel. Mac is absolutely, or Midwest Magic Cleaning, he is absolutely helping me out by promoting um, my stuff and you guys have all been super lovely in um, uh, coming in and subscribing um, when he put out a call to action on that and I, I so appreciate that because I, uh, these are things that I love to do in general, and if I can do them with friends, that's even better. And if I can do them and help people, um, or just, you know, make an improvement on anyone's life, um, that is also amazing. But I, if anything that I say here doesn't reflect his business. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, there's a few things that, um, that I'm going to do a little different on my channel. Um... Not, I don't know, do different is probably not the right word. Um, I'm also not editing this video, <laughs> so uh, this is just going to go up with all my talking and rambling and everything um, as it, as I'm recording it. So um, this is an inclusive space. Um, we're not going to do body shaming. We're not going to do mental illness shaming. We are not going to do disability shaming. Uh, we are not going to do... LGBTQ shaming, um, anything like that is going to be an auto ban. I don't, I don't want to fight about any of that stuff. Um, so if you make a crappy comment, you're gone. So I just want this to be a space that is that anyone can feel that they can come in and have a conversation, um, can participate, can craft, can relax, can you know just come in and, and talk with other people, um, norm in a you know in a inclusive environment that, um, you know, I'm not going to shove anything down anyone's throat, but those are my stances. Um, I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty set in them. So, uh, if, if you guys can handle that, I mean, if you wouldn't say it in public to somebody, don't say it here. Um, I do swear a lot more than Midwest Magic Cleaning does. Uh, I know that kind of affects monetization and stuff sometimes. So if it happens, it happens. I'm not super worried about it. Um, but again, you know, like keep it in chat and everything, you know, keep it civil. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of like the main thing that I wanted to say as far as that goes. I just wanted to make it clear. This is not, you know, an extension of his channel. Um, and if I say things here, they don't necessarily reflect, reflect, reflect what he believes, um, or the standards that he holds for his channel. And that's, that's totally fine. Um, and if you, you know, prefer his channel, like he's way funnier than I am. Um, so that's, I mean, that's totally fine. I appreciate all the support. Um, I am, I'm ready to get, you know, to get into this and start, uh, crafting and cooking and, uh, there's probably gonna be some video game playing, I think. Um, and if, you know, if those subjects interest you welcome and if you know if you like cooking video and you don't like a game video or you know whatever the case may be that's it's fine just watch whatever you want if you don't want to watch it's, it's totally fine um so i am currently right now working on a kitty couch the pattern is by red heart crochet um the pattern is actually free to download i'm going to show it on my laptop here because like i said i'm not editing this video so i'm not going to like put graphics up or anything. Um, I'm not going to do the ruffle. I'm actually going to put a base and legs on it, I think, depending on, you know, how fed up with this project I am by the end of it. And um, I don't know if I'm going to do the blanket. The blanket's cute, but I mean, that's not the whole 
the couch is going to be the main show. Um, and the, the yarn that I'm using for the couch is not the same. Um, I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, I also want to say that of all, all of the, um, all of the crafts and the things that I do, I'm by no means an expert. I've had to rip apart so many, um, crochet projects and like last night I had to rip apart a huge part of this kitty couch, which was frustrating. Um, but that's just the way life is sometimes. So I actually want to show you guys how much of a difference um, that this made. Let me see if I can get into it on my laptop. Because of course the picture's on my phone and I'm using the phone to record. Oh shoot. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for expertise and like a tutorial, this is probably not the place that uh, you should get it from. Um, but if you just want to hang out and have fun and, you know, if you want to work on something while I'm working on it, that's awesome. Um, and if you don't, that's fine. Like, I'm not gonna, you know, judge. Okay, just open, just open the file, man. <laughs> Okay, so um, this is difficult to see, but this is two parts of the top and the, the top of the cushion uh, I needed to make two of, you know, for the left cushion and the right cushion. And this line denotes how much smaller one of the pieces was compared to the first one that I made. I think I figured out what I did. Um, I, I, tight, I chained too tightly. So I had been using a bigger size hook to chain my foundation row. Um, and then I was switching to the hook needed. But on that piece, I don't think I, I used the bigger hook. So my chains were tight. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I need to start counting when they tell you to start counting stuff. And I'm really bad at that as far as like making sure your, your stitches across wise are uh, in the right spot. So what I like about this pattern is um, you don't count rows. They just say do it until it's three inches long, do it until it's 10 inches long, do it until it's, you know, X amount long, um, which is fun. And then the other thing is it is super easy. Um, this is what I'm working on now. This is the yarn that I'm using uh, for the first cat couch. I might make, I might make a few because we've got three cats, so who knows. Um, but it is just single, it's a single crochet and then it's a double crochet. And then when you get onto the next row, you're double crocheting and a single crochet and you're single crocheting and a double crochet. So that is what I'm doing crochet wise. And I will do a couple things. Um, I'll do some stuff on here. Um, but I wanted to also do a tour of the art room, tour of the art room. Um, <laughs> such as it is, it is a little messy. Um, but I do want to show, oh, that's my whole hand. Enjoy my whole hand there. Ow. Okay, so if you haven't seen it before, um, two of the walls are black with glitter, and then two of them are a gradient that I painted, and then down towards the bottom it's like purple and pink. Um, this is an oil painting that I've been working on on and off. If you've ever painted an oil, you know that you kind of have to come back and forth to it a few different times, um, which is fine because I, you know, if I had to sit down and finish this all in one go, like when I first envisioned it, the moon, the moon had no part in it and I just kind of threw it in there. Um, and it also has two panels back here that are, uh, it's going to be like pink on this side and then purple on this side. So it'll be like a skinny, and then the big one, and then another skinny. Um, so yeah, that's there. Um, I got this like vintage color wheel poster thing I think is cool. Um, there's a moon. There's a moon. Uh, I love the moon. Um, I like astrology. I'm into some woo stuff. Um, so... You know, there's part of that there, a little third eye, some, you know, if you, if you know, you know. 
Uh, a lot of this is like uh, ooh, right here, Bernie Sisters poster. Bernie Sisters are super dope. They are very talented and very young, and they are going to be very famous. So jump on the Bernie Sisters train now. Um, Sun Stereo. Whoop. They are not for everybody. They are a local-ish band to us, and they put on an amazing show, and their music is good, and it's they're one of the best people to see perform because their show is wild. Um, I got this at a garage sale for like 10 bucks, and I really like that painting. This picture, it was my mom and me and Mac the day that we got married. We got married at the courthouse, and then we had like a traditional wedding in Minnesota. Crochet stuff. Where is poster from one of the music festivals that I help out at? Um, I got a few more of those that aren't framed. Um, this little decoration. Uh, Midwest Magic Cleanings ex-wife, the mother to the children, actually made that for us uh, as a wedding present. It was very sweet. Um, so a lot of this stuff is my tie-dye supplies, my dye supplies. We got some fabric that I'm going to be working on. God, this is weird to do it in reverse. From fabric, I'm going to be working on uh, some throw pillows for the house. I'm actually going to pull, let's pull a little of this out because this is cool AF. Um, let's see. So this one is... It's kind of like a weird dark moon spidery fabric. This one is pretty skulls and butterflies. Um, this one is like a thistle set. I actually really like. It's got some moths and stuff. This is all from Spoonflower. Spoonflower is good. Um, and then, yeah, this is part of my yarn collection. Most of this I actually uh, got from a dear friend's mother who passed. Um, she was super awesome. She taught me how to weave and um, when she passed she had so much yarn um, and she actually had like projects that you could tell from the colors and the, the types of yarn that she's putting together that she was grouping them up to be you know their own project. So it was cool to see that thought process and it was sad knowing that she didn't get there um so yeah um this back here is all my resin stuff i haven't poured in a while i made probably about two thousand dollars worth of resin product at one point last summer and did a couple of festivals to um or like vendor shows to sell it and it didn't sell very well i was pretty disappointed um, so I kind of, you know, put it away for a little bit. Um, actually, let me, I've got some of the stuff that, do I? I have it somewhere where to go. Oh, here it is. Um, so like, I'm getting the light. Some planchettes. Um, let me find one that's not a cat. They're all the cat one. Here's another one that, um, there's a moon one. Um, and then I have a bunch of these tarot cards. Um, and I have these in a bunch of different styles and stuff. Um, it was really fun to do. I had a blast doing them. And then the, uh, I was just kind of disheartened after I didn't, you know, didn't recruit my money um, <laughs> at the festival. But that's, I mean, it's whatever. I had a fun time at the festival. So that was what was worth it. Over right here is most of my, this is like some failed planting, some vegetable stuff. Um, I got all excited and planted it and then I didn't have a place to put it outside. Hopefully that'll be remedied next year. Uh, so, and then... A lot of my oil painting stuff Ooh, and acrylic painting um, this basket is one of my oil painting baskets that I just take out whenever I'm ready to do that um, so yeah this is 
the art room. Um, I like to lock myself in here with some music or a podcast or whatever and just kind of uh, play and do things and um, I don't know, it's just fun to be able, it's fun to be able to shut the door and just kind of let yourself go for a bit. So um, that's what this room is for. Um, yeah, and then it's like all the yarn, all of it on the floor. There's a bunch in here. Um, so yeah, that's the art room. I'm actually getting ready to um, Thug, if you know Thug from the other channel, is going to clear out her old room, which is just on the other side of this wall here, and it's bigger. So I'm going to move the art room. I'm going to do a big mural in there. I'm going to move the art room into there, and I'm going to make this uh, like a second bedroom, like a guest bedroom thing, a place um, for people to sleep if they stay over or whatever. Get you back in here. kind of just the outline of what you can find on the channel eventually um you know if people want different things it's in my wheelhouse you know we'll do whatever um like once a week I'll probably upload something and then do a live um either once a week or a few times a week just kind of depending on on the audience and and how people respond um and all that jazz. So thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to do a few rows of this crochet. This is a thing that I got from Hobby. If you guys do this place. Um, if any of you have bought yarn from there, I've bought tons of yarn from there. Um, I actually had to stop following them on Facebook <laughs> for a while because I'm like, ooh. Um, but this cushion helps a lot, uh, just kind of like lets you rest your arms up. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I use it for that. I use it when I play video games too, if I'm playing with a controller. Um, and I really like it. It's nice. So this is my yarn bowl. It is missing a piece right here. Um, but I recommend a yarn bowl for anybody who has, oops, that was my sneak bait. Um, for anybody who has pets, especially because this prevents you from getting a lot of hair on your project um, by just like bouncing it on the ground. And a lot of people just use like a regular mixing bowl too and that's fine. Um, I really love this one. I got this one from Etsy. So yeah, this is what we're doing here. We just did a double crochet here. And then this one, this next stitch on the, the found or the, the row below it is a double crochet. So we're going to single crochet onto that. Um, and like I said, I'm not the best crocheter. I'm not the fastest crocheter. I'm not the prettiest crocheter. Um, it is a thing that I like to do though. So I've made a couple really cool projects. I made a blanket for a friend that is one of the things I'm most proud of just because it was so intricate and it taught me so many stitches. Um, it was my biggest project I've ever done and it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, but then I just like tried to make a sweater for my mom and I ended up washing it in the machine, which I should not have done. And it got all sorts, excuse me, it got all sorts messed up. So, I have new yarn. I'm going to attempt to do another one for her after I've kind of figured out where I went wrong a little bit. So we'll see how that goes. One of the things that I'm really bad at is like my edges get wobbly. I never, I'm, I just started learning how to read an actual pattern within the last three years. Um, so sometimes I still struggle with it. If you've ever looked at a pattern, if you're not a crocheter, it like looks, it just looks like gibberish. And sometimes when you are a crocheter, it also still looks like gibberish. So, um, yeah, sometimes I have to sit there for a bit and <laughs> try to figure out what's going on. So, 
but this is the thing that I like to do the most when I'm, you know, sitting around and watching TV or whatever. Um, one of the things that Midwest Magic Cleaning and I do to kind of unwind in the evening. So we have a few uh, YouTube channels that we're subscribed to. We kind of go through our subscriptions and watch all their videos. Post 10, we, he's talked about before. Um, we love Post 10. Uh, I think he is one of the coolest people ever. Um, he leaves stuff in his videos that other people would edit out and I super admire that. I admire that so much. Um, and he just, he's so funny. Like, I don't know. He seems like a really cool guy. And uh, we also watch Cromulent Archer who plays video games. He does um, Project Zomboid and RimWorld mainly, and both of those are two of my favorite video games, especially RimWorld. Um, oops. So we watch Fair Um we watch, uh, he does a lot of long hair videos, kind of to, that's one of the things he does to zone out and get ready for bedtime. Um, Judge Judy, we like watching Judge Judy. Um, Biffa, uh, Biffa plays indie games, is a UK streamer who does City Skylines, which is one of the, um, it's one of the other games that I like the most, and, uh, you might see RimWorld and City Skylines on this channel eventually, um, I don't know, that might be, like, a strictly streaming thing, maybe, I'm not sure, um, but, uh, yeah, they are very good games. Trying to think of what else. We watch Cops. It's like a, one of the guilty pleasures that we both enjoy. Um, but sometimes I get uh, kind of upset at Cops. So, um, at the show, I should specify. Um, but I still enjoy watching, watching it. Um... Yeah, I don't know. So I was thinking about when we're doing lives or whatever, having like some lo-fi music in the background. Um, I've heard somebody mention that they, uh, that, that agitates them, kind of if it like bothers their, um, it's like a sensory issue for them. So I might try it, give it a try. And if people hate it, then, you know, uh, not. I don't, I feel weird when there's no sound. So um, and when I'm doing this, a lot of times I'm listening to a podcast or watching TV, so, um, I don't know how that's going to be for me personally to be able to do this without something going on, but we'll see how it goes. So this part of the cat couch is the top of the cushion, and, um, this... It's going to be the, you know, this long, and then it's going to go in a little bit and start building up. And this part that's this long needs to be three inches tall. And the way that I found to measure it is Q-tips are three inches tall. And I generally have a Q-tip around, so um, I don't have like a ruler. I have a tape measure, and that's a little bulky and weird. But if I, <laughs> I figured if I keep a Q-tip next to my side of the bed, that's how I've been measuring these. So yeah, and like I said, I'm not, I've seen people who crochet way faster than I am. I'm just not, not there. So. I'm also hoping, it is very warm here today, so I have the ceiling fan going and I really hope that doesn't make an annoying noise up above. If it does, I apologize. Trying to hit this to be about a 30 minute long video, um, oops. which we got about six minutes to go. Um, so if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see, um, what you want to talk about, um, I don't have an issue talking about Midwest Magic Cleaning, um, but I do not want this to be a channel that's like, what's Mac doing? Where's Mac at? Um, this is my channel so 
I do appreciate everybody being here, like I said, um, but I don't, I don't want it to be like an extension of that. So you will see the animals on here. I'm sure you'll see Mac um, popping around, especially on a live. I would imagine he'd pop in. So. I'm also, there's a few more goals that I have to reach before I can like verify my channel and do all that happy stuff. Um, and one of them is just watch hours. Uh, I have to get so many watch hours on my total, like on all, across all of my videos. I think it's like 4,000. Um, so that's part of the reason I'm going to get some of these going up as quick as possible. Row done, um, so I can get that situated and have everything set up the way I'd like it. Um, so yeah, so we did. You know, there's the single crochet, and then the double crochet. So this single crochet will then have a double in it. On top and it makes kind of a neat I don't know it's kind of like a popcorn or three it's just kind of like a 3d thing the cats will probably really enjoy that hopefully uh, I'm definitely my so my one of my friends made one and her cat um, loves it um, I am absolutely prepared for the fact that no one will ever touch this <laughs> after I make it, and that's fine. Uh, I will also link uh, where I post on social media. I do have a Facebook. I've had people already from Max Channel message me on Facebook. Um, it's really, like, you can't see when people are messaging you that aren't your friends unless you go look for them and I don't I moderate kind of a big group on Facebook um and we get really nasty messages sometimes if we have to ban people or whatever and so I don't search that out because I'm not I'm not gonna do that to myself um but I also just wanted to make the point that my family is on Facebook um you know, that's my, it's kind of my personal space and it's going to continue to be my personal space. Um, so I've linked my Instagram in the bio, in like the channel bio or whatever. Um, I'm not, I don't, I haven't posted on it often, but I will post, I will start posting on that. Um, and the community page here. Uh, but if, if like people find me on Facebook and throw a friend request, I'm probably not going to accept it because I'd just like to keep that. Um, as my space, as my, as like our family space. Um, I think Mac is the same way. He doesn't have, um, too many people that he interacts with on there from the channel. And that's really important. Like one of the things that I've really noticed since, um, he's started is some people have some boundary issues and, um, it's, it's like you're appreciative of the fact that without everybody around, um, there you wouldn't have the success that you do. Uh, but at the same time, there's a point where, you know, you need some, like you need a space where you're not having to be a public persona. So... Um, yeah. I'm doing this right. I'm trying to think and crochet at the same time, so hopefully I haven't missed a stitch. I've done it wrong. That's I like the alternation of this pattern, but at the same time, it prevents me from like really getting into a solid group with it. So I'm gonna finish out this row and close out the video. Um, I hope the audio is okay. Uh, if it's not, I won't have that fan running next time. Um, 
I don't think I'm ever gonna do like a like a narrated video like with the fancy microphone just because I don't know how to edit like that and I don't want that to like be a big focus of my time I might change my mind down the line um, at the moment I have a music festival that I am preparing for it's supposed to be incredibly hot this weekend um, so we're kind of stressing about that and then we have a trip we're seeing friends on Labor Day weekend my mom is moving from here back to Minnesota so that's like emotionally draining for me I'm, you know having I'm processing that um, so right now it might seem low effort because it is this is kind of some low effort content while I am dealing with those things but I also know myself um, and if I don't do a thing immediately the chances of it getting done are slim <laughs> so this is also definitely you know a neurodivergent safe space um, you know I have issues Mac has talked about like just kind of the upkeep issues that um, that we have both of us with him being autistic and with me uh, having ADHD um, you know one of the things that I just want to talk about uh, over time is that or remind people of is that some people are good at things that others are not quite good at um, are not as good at and that's fine like if everyone was good at the same stuff, the world would be super boring. So, um, there are things that I'm, there are things that I'm not good at. <laughs> and, uh, that, that's fine. That's just me. And I like me and I hope you guys like me. Um, and I hope you like yourselves because that's super important. Um, I want this to be a really positive space. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be the channel if you have any input or thoughts uh, leave a message in the comments um, I can't wait to get started and hang out with you guys and see what becomes of all this in the next however you know however long this journey goes on for and I will be back in a few days um, I may do some I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I might do like a live from the festival grounds or I might just do some videos and put them together so you guys can kind of see um, how I spend my time because uh, the music festival and the music group it's a not-for-profit that we work with and that means a lot to me um, mainly because the people involved are amazing um, it's the first group that I've ever worked with worked for that uh, is not clicky it's not you know this is the way it's gonna be because I said so it's just it's very it's very inclusive for one thing and it's very positive and it's very we all need to work together to make this stuff happen so let's work together to make this stuff happen and the stuff that we've made happen recently has been super awesome so um, I wanna I want other people to experience that too so uh, but yeah I appreciate you guys being here um, let me know if you have anything that you'd like to talk about eventually um, if you want to see me do whatever, if you want to see me talk about on a live, if you have any questions, you know, just pop them 